Hello, everybody. Welcome again to another session of One Question a Day. And the question we are discussing today is life cycle of an ameloblast or amelogenesis. These are intertwined topics. Ameloblast is in the life cycle of ameloblast. We aim to discuss in detail about the morphological and the histological changes in different stages of the lives of ameloblast, whereas amelogenesis is the same phenomenon from a enamel matrix and enamel calcification perspective. So the perspective alone differs. So the classification and the approach also differs. But both are important questions from exam point of view. And most of the universities, at least once in two years or three years, per four or five exams, this question gets often repeated. So you cannot afford to ignore both the questions, life cycle of ameloblast and amelogenesis. Both are the same process, but from different perspective. Ameloblast from the morphological and histological perspective of ameloblast, whereas amelogenesis is the process of enamel secretion. How do things change? So the perspective alone differs. So we will discuss, limit our discussion today on life cycle of ameloblast. We'll say what is amelogenesis, how the ameloblasts change, the different stages, and note on the enamel protein secreted and clinical significance. So to proceed into it, we first say that Ameloblast is the cell responsible for enamel formation and the differentiation of ameloblast is more pronounced in the cuspal region and less advanced in incisal regions. And as we proceed down, there are many stages, about six stages involved in the morphogenic, organizing, formative, maturative, protective, desmolytic stage. And the diagram, I would say that, that would be best as this diagram. Morphogenetic stage, the candidate has marked all the parts and the color coding effectively. Morphogenic organizing stage, formative stage, maturative stage, protective stage, desmolytic stage. All the cell organelles, where they move, and the, remember the candidate, how she has studied or he or she has studied about the transition from the short cuboidal to tall columnar, how the candidate has interfered in the left hand side you see how the candidate has put in effort to correct the whole concept and this is how to keep a record of what you read see how the cells move we will discuss it later the other diagram that i would recommend is this one classic from 10k's book or uh, a single picture that captures the entirety of the life cycle of ameloblast in one picture but you have to ensure that all the movements of the uh, cell organelles has to be clearly described. See how it metamorphoses from a short cuboidal to tall columnar to the, again, to the short cuboidal. So we'll go in detail about the answer, okay? So morphogenetic stage here at this stage, the outline of crown and the future DEJ is determined and the shells in this stage are short columnar with a oval nucleus occupying most of the cell space, Golgi apparatus and centriole in the proximal end and mitochondria distributed over all, all over. And as the stage progresses, it moves towards the distal end. And at this process, terminal bonds are formed and point of contact of adjacent cells between the ameloblasts are created. At this point of time, inner enamel epithelium lies on the basal lamina and below is a cell-free zone and below is the dental papilla. At the organizing stage, these inner enamel epithelium starts to organize itself and creates an organizing influence by terms of bone morphogenetic proteins, fibroblast growth factors and other cell signaling proteins and induces the outermost layer of dental papilla to differentiate into odontoblast and this lays down the first layer of dentin. And this is happening at the terminal stages of the organizing phase. And the changes in the cells are that still the cells becomes called tall columnar. The nucleus moves to the proximal and the Golgi apparatus and centrioles are posted towards the distal end and mitochondria are con increasingly concentrated towards the proximal end. And this is called as the reversal of functional polarity. The initial nutrient supply was the connective tissue of dental papilla. When the first layer of dentin is formed, that supply is scant and that is called as the reversal of nutrition. So the further supply is by the nearby capillaries or the stellate reticulum. 
the formative stages, the first layer of dentin necessary formation of enamel matrix. So ameloblast by reciprocal induction, the inner enamel epithelium turns into ameloblast. The changes in cell, the ameloblast retain their shelf of tall columnar and at the same time, development of blunt processes happen on the distal end that penetrates into shortly into the dentin and the basal lamina. And this phase is more important because they start to lay down the most of the enamel matrix. Maturative, this phase, mineralization takes place. The changes in cell, because it is post-functional, ameloblast reduces its right, and cellate reticulum and stratum intermedium collapses. They become less cuboidal from the star shape to spindle shape. Microvilli on distal end of ameloblast helps in absorption. Microvilli starts to appear. Protective phase, when the enamel is completely mineralized, the post-functional ameloblast becomes more or like inner enamel epithelium along with uh, the collapsed stratum intermedium loses their structure. So the outer enamel epithelium and the post-functional ameloblast come together or fuse to form what we call as reduced enamel epithelium and that prolongs or elongates and it separates from the connective tissue from the this adjoining dental sac from the enamel till the two terraps. If there is any abnormality, the newly formed enamel in the bony crypt comes into contact with the dental sac. And that may cause the enamel to get resolved or formation of new symptom if the cell signals are very active. Desmolytic cells, epithelial cells, that is the remnant uh, reduced enamel epithelial cells secrete certain enzymes called as desmolytic enzymes that causes destruction of its own or the surrounding current tissue. They also have a role to play in the tooth eruption. Clinical significance, premature degeneration of reduced enamel epithelium will prevent tooth eruption due to age change, all things. But if there is a difference in the organizing stage or the formative stage, Enamel amylogenesis imperfecta can happen. If there is fluoride, excessive fluoride during the maturation phase, mineralization phase, then instead of calcium fluoro uh, hydroxyapatite crystals, you will get fluorooxyapatite crystal that imparts a brown stain. It happens with a lot of water fluoridation. So that is the important clinical significance. Syphilis, congenital syphilis. So all this could contribute to the clinical significance. Again, I repeat in, in an exam sense, same thing. So reversal of functional polarity, reversal of nutrition, reversal of nutritional source, uh, where ameloblast turns, all this has to be uh, completely work it, worked out. So desmoslytic stage, Again, so with that, we come to an end of the um, life cycle of ameloblast, not amylogenesis, life cycle of ameloblast. Stay connected with this channel and wait till we come again with an another question and another bright morning. Stay connected with this channel. Happy learning.